The Medici is an auction game in which players are attempting to fill their ships with goods and get set collection and points based on how valuable the goods that they are getting are. They also want to rank highest in the amounts of different types of goods. Your points are scored and are also your money. So you're tracked with your money and your points on the same tracker. When you spend money, you go down in points. When you gain money, you go up in points. The w winner at the game is the person with the most points at the end. There are five different good types, spice, textiles, grain, dye, and then wool. There is also one gold card, which is not a con particular type of good, it is just money. Each of the cards, except for the money, which is there is only one of, has a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and two fives of that type in the deck. When you set up the game, it depends on the number of players, but each round you will have either all of the cards or in less than six players, you will take out, you'll shuffle the deck up and take out a certain number of cards secretly from the deck to start with. Also, depending on the number of players is where you will start with your money and points. So depending on how many players are playing, will tell you how many points they start with. Each player has a ship board. And if you're playing a two player game, there is a bonus ship board that you would add to this for each player. Normally, though, you have five slots in your ship for cards to go in. The game is played over three days, signified by the tokens here. This is the first day token. You'll remove it once that day is over to go to day two, and then you'll remove it to be on the board, which shows day three. Once day three is completed, the game is over. The board also has where your rankings are for the different types of goods you have. Everyone starts the game in the gold rings around each of the different five types because no one has had any of those types of things in their ships. But during the game, you will move up. And by moving up, I mean a ring inner and inner and inner of each type, depending on what you get of those. During the scoring of the game, you will score each good type, and then you will flip over the type to show that it's been scored so that way you can make sure to track all the ones that are scored. Whoever the start player is will get this token and that player will then draw from the top of the deck one card, look at it, and it will be the first card that they will begin the auction with. They will then choose to draw another card if they wish, or they can stop at one. If they choose another card, they will draw a second card. They can stop there, or they can choose a third card. You cannot go more than three cards, but that group, once you decide you're stopping, either at one, two, or three cards, is the group that will be auctioned. The auction begins with the person to the left of the person that did this, so the start player will not begin the bid, they will end the bidding. Going around clockwise, each player can bid zero or any number up to their current value on the board. That is how much money they currently have. They cannot spend more money than they currently have. So you can bid as much money as you wish, but you will only get one chance to bid. You will bid your number, and then the next player in clockwise order will bid. If at any point it gets to the last player, which is the start player, going with this token, and no one has bid any money, then the cards that were in this grouping are discarded. If anyone bids, then the person with the highest bid wins the cards, and they must go immediately into their ship, and they will spend the number of money slash points that they bid on it. No one else loses any money in this case. If you are too full and you cannot put the items into your ship, meaning that you only have space for two and the group is three, you are not allowed to bid. But if you are the one starting the bid and you do not have space for three, you can still put three cards out as long as there is at least one other player with the ability to put three cards into their ship. The auction phase will continue with the start player being passed to the next player clockwise, no matter who won that bidding auction or if no one won. That new player will start the bidding by picking however many cards they wish, one, two, or three, again flipping one at a time and deciding at each turn of the card. The round or day will end when everyone except for one player has filled their ships meaning at any point if all ships are full except for one player then that will end the day 
and you will go to scoring. The other way that the day can end is if all of the cards in the stack have been discarded due to no one purchasing them. Then multiple players can end the round with unfilled ships. Remember, you are always going to discard a certain number of cards depending on the number of players at the beginning of each day. And those are secret and it has been shuffled prior. So some of the cards may not be in existence in the deck as you're playing that round. At the end of a day, you will do the scoring for that day. Depending on what cards you have attained is how the scoring will work. The first thing you will always do is you will count up the value of the numbers in every one ship, and the player with the highest value number will get a number of points based on how many players are playing. In a, a two-player game, the first place player will get 20 points and the second place will get zero. In a three-player game, 30 and 15 and zero. If there are ties for first place, then you will add up first and second place or however many needed places for however many people were tied and divide it equally, rounding down. If there are ties for lower, then you will do the same. So you'll see in a six-player game, you can get 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, or 0 points. Any points that are scored will, of course, move your token up the money track slash point track that number of spaces, allowing you to have more money to spend on auctions in the following day. Next, each player will check their board to see what types of different items they have, in this case, one of each. With one of each, the yellow player will move up their scoring marker on each of the different five areas on the circle, one ring because they have one of each. For each type of car that you have, of this type, you would move it up one ring forward. Same goes for all of the other rings. So every player will make sure that their ring, they are on the right ring for the number of cards that they got that round, adding to whatever they had previous rounds potentially. So if I had started the round here and I had one cloth, then I would move up one more for this round. As you can see here, in a two player game, 10 points will be scored for the person in first place for each of the types of, of goods. So in the case of the cloth, yellow would score 10 points, white would score zero, and because you have finished scoring the cloth, you will flip over that to signify that it has been scored. In a three to six player game, first place will get 10, second place will get five, and again, ties are broken the same way. You will add up all of the numbers required and divide those evenly amongst. So you could get in a two-way tie in a three to six player game, seven points for two players, and then third place would get nothing. Then, if your token is in any of the scoring bonus areas of the ring, you will add those bonus points to you at the end of each round. So if yellow ended in the plus five, not only would they get the first place amount because they are beating white, they'll also get five more points at the end of this round. The tokens do not leave the rings from where they're at from round to round. So in the following round, even if they do not buy any clothing, they will still get the plus five when the scoring happens because they are still in that ring. If you are to move past the 20, you do not move any farther forward. So you will not be able to get more than 20 points as your bonus. At the end of the round, you will check to see who is in last place on points, and that player will be the first player for the next round. After all scoring has ended on the third round, the game is over, the player with the most points on the tracker wins. If there is a tie, the victory is shared. That is how you play Medici.